Welcome to Growing Spaces. It is uh, January 13th and we got a really big snow overnight last night. Um, you know, we've got a little over a foot here in our parking lot and it's probably about 20 degrees, um, warmer than it is on a clear day. But uh, we just wanted to take this opportunity to show you how well the growing dome is holding up in the snow. Um, you can see it's piled up on top, but over the day it'll slide off. So it's nice and strong holding up. And uh, we're excited to go check out our um, lush warm garden inside and uh, tell you a little bit more. So I'm gonna uh, get to shoveling in front here and uh, then I'll meet you inside. You can hear the snow sliding off. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. That way it's not pushing down heavy on the, on the struts, um, but the, the dome can take all of that weight, which is wonderful. So you can see that uh, despite the snow, our garden is doing really well. I'm probably gonna harvest, um, harvest some greens today, maybe a couple of turnips, and uh, you know enjoy a fresh homegrown salad despite this super snowy weather and probably the mediocre produce at the grocery store. Alrighty, so since it's so cold and snowy outside, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about heating, winter heating in the growing dome. So here we've been monitoring temperatures. We've been doing a couple of different things. I have a temperature sensor mounted outside. It's monitoring the outdoor temperature. Then I have a sensor in here. So I'm monitoring the ambient air temperature. Um, that is mounted just right down here. The reason that we've chosen to mount it there is because it's not going to be in direct sun. That's on the south side and it's shaded. I also have another temperature monitor here in the water tank because the water tank is such an important feature in terms of thermal heat storage. So um, I come out here and I check this temperature monitor. It monitors the ambient temperature as well as the water temperature. So I'm taking a look at that. And then um, in kind of an old school fashion, I'm just recording it on this clipboard right here and then we're putting it into um, an Excel sheet back in the office. So like I said, it's about 20 degrees outside and uh, it looks like it's 48 in here right now, which is great news for all of our cool season crops. It's cool, but not really cold. Uh, the other great news is that it was sunny yesterday before it started to get really cloudy and snowy. So the tank, the above ground pond, had a ton of time to absorb a lot of really good solar heat. And then overnight, it was, we actually didn't use this heater overnight at all. So the radiant heat from this tank was coming out and keeping the inside of the dome warm. The other great thing is that this insulation gave us some extra protection and the shape of the dome itself, not only is super strong against the snow, it, uh, it helps to conserve energy and retain heat really well compared to a different type of greenhouse. So because of that, we're able to still have this wonderful garden and I'm gonna have a fresh salad for lunch. I did just wanna talk about one more exciting thing today. I, uh, we've been waiting and watching these peas grow for the past couple of months and finally they are, despite the snowy freezing weather, they're beginning to flower and we actually have some little pea pods. So I'm gonna pick this one prematurely. It's pretty good. So as we were looking at the temperature monitors, we actually noticed it got down to negative two degrees last night, probably right before it started snowing pretty hard. And the interesting thing is, uh, we didn't use a heater and all of our greens are doing really well. I just harvested a whole basket of mustard and arugula and spinach and microgreens and I've got some delicious kale that I'm gonna make kale chips out of in the dehydrator. So uh, we're doing great here and uh, hopefully you are too. <laughs> 